In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the repeat with action in the fake app to loop through a text file, which you can see here, and fill out a form over and over again. So this is a Drupal website I'm working on, and I have a keywords v2 taxonomy vocabulary, and I need to populate it with all of these terms here. Now, if I were to manually do this, I would go to add a term, children, which is the first term here. I don't need a description yet, and I don't worry about this, so I'm just going to hit save. So I filled out one field, created a new term for children, and notice it reloaded back to this screen here. So I'm going to go back here and actually delete that term. And we're going to start from scratch and loop through the file. So here we have it. Um, the action we're going to use is actually repeat with. And after we drag that in, we want to also end the repeat. Now all of our actions are going to go in between these two. Um, so we're going to create a variable called term name. And we're going to set that based on the lines in a file. And the file that we're going to use is myterms.txt, which is what this is here. Okay? Now, what do we need to do? First, we need to go to the actual form. So we see we need a name value. So let's set the value of an HTML element. And we need that to go in between the repeat. And we could look up the ID of this field, or we can click the control button and hold it down and drag over the field. Edit dash name. Um, now we want to set the value to actually be this variable. Now the way that you call up a variable, there's two ways to do it, but the way we're going to use it here, um, the other way is for JavaScript. Um, but anyway, we're going to use dollar sign curly brace, term name curly brace. And basically what this is going to do is loop through this file and change the name value over and over again. If I do that right now, you'll see it happening in real time. Okay, so not quite what we want though. So we need to actually set the value and submit the form and then set the next one and submit the form. Now if you'll remember, uh, we actually are redirected back to this form after we submit so we don't need to actually load up the URL and then proceed each time we just need to set the value submit it it'll reload we set the value submit it it'll reload it's very simple so let's submit the form after we fill out the value so we're gonna click and drag over save and this will actually simulate a click of the edit-submit button. Now, I'm going to hit play, and it's going to start at the top and start working through this list right here. So let's try it out. I hit play. It created children. And there it goes. Now we'll let it do its thing and you'll see what happens at the very end actually I probably don't need to waste your time with that um, basically when it gets to the end it's going to encounter an empty value and it will stop at the set value of HTML element action so there you have it this is a quick way to loop through a file and use those values to do something meaningful. I could have done this same kind of import with a Drupal module or I could have written some code to do it, um, but the fake app comes in handy when you just need to really quickly get something done like this. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for more.